Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the Forensic Explorer Folders Filter Tool. Here I'll demonstrate how to apply this filter and then create and apply your own custom filter. We start in the Evidence module by opening an existing case. The image I'm using is from the NIST hacking case, which is a test case available on the NIST website. Once a case is loaded, switch to the File System module. Right click in the Folders view and expand all to see the complete file and folder structure. Click on a folder to show the files in that folder. Or use the branch plate to show all files in the case. The folders filter is applied in the folders view. It's a method of filtering the view so only the specified files are displayed. Click on the drop down arrow at the top of the folders view to show the available filters. You will see that when the docx filter is selected, only the folders containing the doc or docx are shown and only the doc or docx files are in the file list. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say we need to determine the time zone settings on this computer. To do that we need to find the system hive and send it to the registry module. From the filter drop down menu select the registry files filter. We can now see just the registry files in the file list. Click on the system file, right click and select Send to Module Registry. When we switch to the Registry module, the content of the System Hive is now shown. Note that the Registry module has its own filter. Select Time Zone Information from the drop down menu. Now that we have filtered the time zone registry keys, we can quickly see that the setting of the time on this computer was Central Standard Time. The power of the folders filter is that they are completely customizable. Let's switch to the scripts folder. In the top left hand window, you'll see the file system filters. Let's say that we want to create a new filter that only shows .bat batch files in the file system module. The easiest way to do this is to copy then modify an existing filter. Let's use jpeg.paz. Right click on jpeg.paz and select File, Copy. A new version of the file is written as jpeg0001. Let's rename that file. Right click on the file, then select File, Rename. Now we type in our new filter name, BAT. Paz. Now click on the bat.paz file in the list of scripts. Double click to open it in the editing window. Now we need to modify the file. Once the file has been modified, click the Save button. Now we can return to the file system module. And because we've added a new script, we need to refresh the list. Now when we click on the drop down menu, we'll see the bat filter. Once the bat filter is applied, we can see the folders containing the bat files on the left and the batch files themselves in the right. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.